What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real Cowboys fans stand up. And today's video is brought to you by BetUS.com. Definitely check out their website for your online sports book. But the Dallas Cowboys just wrapped up their scrimmage versus the LA Rams and a lot of good takeaways. There was a lot of good nuggets. I know a lot of people are like, yo, Tuck, how are you going to have some interesting nuggets and you wasn't there? Because I know people in high places and I get access to things I'm not supposed to get access to. But it just is what it is, man. The very first thing I want to talk about is the offensive line. So offensive line had a solid day versus the Rams defensive front. And I really focus it on the offensive line, but particularly one position. Y'all already know what it is. The center position. Now, I will say this. Brock Hoffman is having a great camp. I know a lot of people have questions about Brock Hoffman. Does he have the power and the anchor to last 17 games? Now, that I do not know. But I would say thus far from what I've seen from Brock Hoffman, I have seen some improvement from last year to this year. He seems to be in sync and communication with Dak Prescott. But our third round pick of Cooper BB, I know a lot of fans want Cooper BB on the field. And me too. Right? I love Cooper BB. That's my neighbor, right? But I will say this, just give my fair critique. And I was like up close. Like I was right there. You know what I'm saying? With the all I had. You know what I'm saying? What I what I had, I was like right there, right? When it comes to Cooper BB at the center position, the snap seem to hang a little bit longer than it needs to be, right? Especially with the shotgun snaps. Like shotgun snaps, you want it quick. Boom, down, set, hike, boom, in the quarterback hands. But they kind of float. You kind of saw each individual snap just kind of float, kind of sell a little bit, right? So I feel like when Cooper BB, you really have to understand it's going to be a work in progress when it comes to him playing the center position because it's brand new. Like just going out there and say, oh, you're going to play center and learn how to snap. It just doesn't happen overnight. So I feel like if Cooper BB is going to be the center for the Dallas Cowboys, you might need to give it some patience because it's going to take time for him to prove and get the snaps down. But once the ball is out of his hands and he gets to go hit somebody, oh, it, it's all it's all bets go. All bets are off when it's time for Cooper BB to go out there and hit somebody. But the snaps, as of right now, they were kind of floating. They were kind of hanging a little bit. You had to kind of reach, bend, mold a little bit. Um, but he was with the second team with Cooper Rush. But they also gave him reps at guard. They also gave him reps at guard. And when he got the reps at guard, I was just like, that's it. That's what he do. I mean, that's what he do. Even though he's a wildcat, that is what he do. So when he got to center, didn't have to worry about snapping the ball. I mean, it was just head on collisions from Cooper BB. So it's going to be interesting to see how that shakes out. But he's definitely in talent. And when it comes to our offensive line, Tyler Guyton wasn't with the starters. It was Chuma Yudoga out there. Had some decent reps. But it still just wasn't what I am looking for at the left tackle position, just to be honest with you. But Tyler Guyton, he was able to, you know, get a few reps out there. Gets my guy, Jared Verse. Y'all know I was going to look for that. And my guy, Braden Fisk, who played for the Rams as well. Florida State guys out there. So overall, good day of practice for the offensive line. Even the backup. Saw awesome Richards had some good snaps. You saw him at well, that's going on there. Um, but the right side, right side looks good. I know a lot of people have questions about Terrence Steele. Terrence still looks solid. Zach Martin is Zach Martin, so there's no even talking about that. We are good there. Um, but the tight end position, Jake Ferguson is him. He is here. He's arrived, right? Jake Ferguson out the gate when they first started the drills with the offense versus the Rams defense. It was like Dak defer, Dak defer, Dak defer. So it is what it is. So I feel like that is going to be a constant theme throughout this season is Dak Prescott connecting with Jake Ferguson. Jake Ferguson had another solid day and he's going to continue to uptick. When it comes to the quarterback position, Dak Prescott comfortable. Stay there at the office. They're at the office. You know, he's hitting Ferg early. Um, he hit Brennan Cooks for a deep bomb as well. You know, he's passing the ball around. So Dak is just comfortable in his offense. Use his leg a little bit, rolled out the pocket. Um, also, Turpin had a good day today as well. So Dak and Turpin are in sync as well. And also, we talked about Jalen Tober in previous videos. So when it comes to Dak, commander in chief when it comes to this offense, not too concerned. It's another day at the office. Now, Trey Lance, I will say this Trey Lance. There's some inconsistencies, right? You see greatness where I'm like, okay, that's the Trey Lance I was talking about. That's why I dropped that film session. Like, listen, we got Trey Lance. We got a player. Like, it's there. He hit a big uh, throw to Ryan Flowneroy, um, who actually played rookie as well. Um, and for a deep throw, good throw. And then a simple, quick, like, out route he threw, and it was the interception. So it's just like Trey just has to be consistent, right? Consistent, continue to get the reps. But as of right now, he's with the third string. So it was Dak Prescott, 
Cooper Rush, and then Trey Lance. So we'll see how that kind of shakes out in the preseason, especially for your betters that want to bet on Bet US, right? How long is Trey actually going to play and what quarters he's going to play? Because that's going to give us some insight. Um, but overall, a good day for offense. Offense looked consistent. Running game. Zeke had a little. Zeke had a little. I know there's a lot of Zeke haters. Zeke had a little burst. Zeke had a little burst today. Zeke had a little burst. He was looking crisp. Even broke out for a big run. Zeke, look a little minute, you know. But then also, Mr. Take It Personal is what I'm calling on Rico Dallow had a good day today as well. And Rico was out there running hard and running solid, man. So overall, good day from the offense. Now, I will say this. I watched the defense, but I was actually doing two shows while the scrimmage was going on. So I was all over the place. I had three different monitors. I was getting texts from people and uh, people were sending me videos. I was kind of like on the show, you know, but I was here, right? Defense had a solid day as well. The most important piece that a lot of people want to talk about, Mozzie Smith. Mozzie Smith had a good day, had a few run stops, had a little burst. So Mozzie is stacking days, right? It's not a a drastic leap where you're gonna be oh my god mozzie smith right but overall he had a good day at the office today when it came to mozzie smith so no complaints there he's going to continue to stack those reps uh demarcus lawrence micah parsons they just are who they are um yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, they're just out there just doing what they do best, right? So, so nothing about them. Uh, Micah Parsons playing a little off ball linebacker, flowing in traffic. I saw him dropping coverage, coming off the edge, A gap, B gap. He was all over the place. And that seems to be the beginning of it when it comes to Mike Zimmer and his defense. Um, now, I will say this. When it comes to Mike Zimmer's defense, right, we always talked about the, the double-A gap mug and the disguises and different things like that. So we show how that can have an impact. There was a play, right, he had looked like Micah, and they were coming. They dropped back. Stafford kind of hesitated a little bit. Ah, and there's the pressure, right? So I just think that post-snap disguises and games that Zim was going to play is definitely going to help this pass rush, but also help our secondary and specifically our corners. Now, as it comes to our corners, Kaylin Carson, walking seatbelt. <laughs> I mean, I mean, walking seatbelt. Yeah, yeah, I, I think Will McClay, you may have got you another one, right? Because Kaylin Carson had a great day at the scrimmage as well. So it puts us in a position of comfort, right? So you got Diggs coming off the ACL, you know, but you don't have to rush him. I feel like with Bland, J. Lou kind of being your veteran guys, if you had to talk, toss Kalen Carson out there, I feel like he will be okay. It's not like we're going to fall off a cliff until Diggs can fully get up and get it wrapped up and get going. But overall, good day from the corner. Secondary, they just are who they are, right? Um, linebackers. Linebackers were smooth, flowing to the ball. Damone Clark played well as well today. Um, also saw Maris LaFowle, Demarion Overshone. So linebackers were flowing smooth. So it was a good day of practice overall. You have to be excited about what you saw. Now, granted, it was just practice. We're just talking about practice. We'll see what happens on Sunday and then in the preseason, right? What can you do when the lights comes really on? But thus far, it was a good day. Like I like what I saw from the offense. I like what I saw scheme-wise from the defense and also like what I saw effort wise from the defense. They seem to be flying around, playing with high motor, but also playing with discipline, which is the most important piece. It's only like two little fights, two and a half, nothing too crazy. No one's throwing helmets, nothing to be suspended about or fined about, right? It's got a little scuffles, you know, this is what it is. But overall, good day. I really focus on special teams who was on punt team. I saw Marquis Bell out there, Wanye out there, uh, Hunter Lutke out there. So the special team guys, Really circle that because those are locks for rosters uh, typically. And I think once we get into camp, I mean, not to camp, to, to preseason, we'll be able to kind of cherry pick that when we get the all 22, like who's really out there, who's playing what, and how many reps are they getting overall. But like I said, overall, good, solid day. I know a lot of Cowboys fans were out there. A lot of Rams fans were out there as well. So good time to see our Dallas Cowboys out there actually playing at somebody else. And for the people who actually like their quarterback, this is the last time we're probably going to see Dak versus another team until we get to Cleveland because he ain't playing no preseason snap. So this was it. What you got from Dak Prescott today is what you're going to get, right? But overall, solid day of practice, man. So it's your boy, Jay Tuck. But before we go, I want to give a huge shout out once again 
to our sponsors, BetUS. Today's video is powered by BetUS.com. And right now, BetUS is running a promotion. Receive a 125% bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,000. So if you are a Cowboys fan and you think the Cowboys will win over 10 games, they have plus 160 odds. That means bet $100, win 160. That is easy money. So sign up for BetUS.com. Use the link in the description below and let's get this money CFO game. All right, everybody. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged. And this week we got live action Dallas Cowboys football. Let's get it.